Luckily, we got all of our skate shots that we need to teach you how to frontside grind today. If you clicked on this video, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna just jump right into it and get started. My name is Arjun, if you've never been here before, and here is how to frontside grind in three easy steps. So step one, when you're learning how to frontside grind is to master the frontside kick turn because a frontside kick turn is ultimately the same thing as a frontside grind when you are going into and coming out of it. If you don't know what a kick turn is, it's one of the most fundamental moves on a skateboard. It's basically when you just ride up a ramp, turn around on your back wheels and ride back down. When you are learning how to kick turn, you do want to get to the point where you're just riding straight up the transition, turning around and riding straight down it. But at first that could be a little intimidating, so don't be shy if you're going into your kick turn at a slight angle or even a wide angle. When you ride straight up the ramp, you're gonna start slowing down when you start reaching your peak height in the transition. That's gonna let you know exactly when to lift up on your back truck, turn around and come back down. If you're having trouble turning around, remember that your shoulders are your steering wheel. You always wanna look in the direction that you want to go on your skateboard as well. And if you're still having trouble turning around, try using the wind up technique, like before you reach your peak, Use your arms and your shoulders to wind up in the opposite direction that you want to turn and use them to swing your shoulders in the direction that you do want to turn. This should help you use your shoulders to direct the way that you're moving on your skateboard. Once you've got the motion of the kick turned down, all you're gonna to wanna to do is just start doing it higher and higher in the transition on the ramp until eventually you get to the very top of the ramp that you're now doing a frontside kick turn on the coping. Once you've done that, congratulations, you've completed step two and you are now doing a frontside slash grind. The only difference between this and a frontside grind is that the slash grinds are done while your weight is still distributed inside of the ramp or transition. Whereas a frontside grind, you are then going to be standing on top of the ramp or the transition, grinding that frontside grind. And that's when it's really gonna start to become a beneficial trick for you. Frontside grinds are gonna become so easy over time that it's almost gonna become just like walking for you. You're gonna do them in the middle of your runs. They become a great trick to even maintain or gain speed, to link different tricks together in a run, or even just to use it as a trick to set up for your next big move. And learning how to stand up on a frontside grind can be a little bit more scary than it was for a backside grind because now your back is facing the ramp or the transition, but don't let that intimidate you because like I said, this is gonna become super easy once you learn how to do it. Okay, so to stand up on a frontside grind, we're gonna keep in mind that we're using what we've learned from learning frontside slashes and frontside kick turns. Approach the coping at a slight angle. Once you feel your back truck hit the coping, you're gonna now transfer your weight to your toes on your back foot on top of the deck of the ramp. And when I'm standing in a frontside grind, my weight is usually distributed onto my back foot, right? On top of the tail so if you're on flat ground just like I am now I'm just standing on my back foot and my weight is kind of just in the ball of my foot right there just over the center of my board on the back truck that's gonna be like the easiest place for my weight to be when I wanna lock that back truck into the 5-0 and just hold the grind as long as I need to. Once I'm ready to come back into the ramp, I'm just going to drop back into the transition and transfer my weight back towards the front of my board, just like I would when I'm dropping into a ramp or rolling in. And it's just as easy as that. It's the whole trick of a frontside grind is really just learning how to shift your weight from the transition to on top of the deck of the ramp. That's the hardest part. Coming back in, it's just mostly mentally scary. But once you get past the first two, you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad at all. It's just like dropping in on a ramp. And those are the three steps to learning how to frontside grind. So now that you know how to do this trick, the only thing that's stopping you is getting out there and practicing the motions and getting comfortable with it. So go ahead, get on out there, learn how to frontside grind, film it, tag me in it on Instagram. I do want to see it if anybody learns how to frontside grind from this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload every single day of the week and I'll see you guys on the next upload.